Hello YouTube, this is Joseph from Stay Away PKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to continue where we left off in the last tutorial. And as you remember in the last tutorial, we were creating uh, logical devices and other tutorials that show you how to create an instance, how to enumerate physical devices, and so on. In the next couple of tutorials going forward, we're going to be doing things a little bit differently. We'll be incorporating the GLFW library to make our lives a lot easier when dealing with windows and rendering and putting information into these windows. So it, it'll be a lot easier. And B, as you can see, in this, uh, this is one of the, the code for, I think, uh, the first or second tutorial. And as you can see, there's no there are not that many lines of code so we could put everything inside the main function and everything was nice and quick but if you have may have noticed in the last two three tutorials the code keeps getting longer and longer so we need to start integrating uh, maybe more classes and breaking the code into more manageable snippets of code for so other people that uh, later read our code can make sense of it. So we're going to be, instead of packing everything into the main function like we've been doing, we're going to break it up into, uh, into more... Uh, uh, of an object-oriented uh, approach. So, for example, also I wanted to show you, uh, for those of you who do not know, GLFW is uh, it's been around for a while. Is uh, is I've used it a lot with OpenGL, and it's a very good, well-maintained uh, library, and also it supports Vulkan. So that's that's a great plus for us because we're working with Vulkan. That's uh, number one. And number two, I also wanted to show you this uh, quick reference guide here for Vulkan. So if you don't know something or you want something quick, instead of just, instead of going into the, into the specs, which are thousands and thousands of lines of code, this is a quick and reference guide that will keep you, you know, will give you an answer nice and quickly so as you can see most of the time most of the stuff here in these first pages we have already done in the first uh, tutorials that we have done you know the creating device uh, struct for the Vulkan device created info logical device how to destroy the devices we've done most of it but as we continue it's going to get more and more uh, the code will be longer and a little bit more, uh, more, you know, more complicated, but a, a lot more helpful to create great things. So let's get started. In this tutorial, I wanted to show you how to uh, create a, a surface window, and uh, and using GLFW. And let's make this bigger so you can see it better from home. And then let's close this. Now, let's think it's called Windows Surface Class. And this is uh, taking the code from Alexander's Overworders uh, Vulkan tutorial. Uh, very good code, very well maintained. Uh, go take a look. And as you can see, uh, this is where he's bringing here the GLFW, the include Vulkan. And if you want to know more about how that's done, you can go here to the Vulcan guy where it actually explains how's everything done. And uh, the basically, uh, when you see something that is not very, if you've never seen it before, you can always go here and uh, and and uh, and get the answer that you're looking for. For example, we'll be using this as we are creating the windows. We'll be create, using these hints, and uh, we'll also be create, using the Vulkan surface, chrono surface, and uh, the GLFW creator window surface, which makes it a lot easier. And uh, let me show you. Uh, first of all, this is what he's, he's doing here. 
here he's including the IO stream, extender exception, vector, because we're using vectors here. Optional set, these are things from C++, uh, C standard library and C string, nothing that you have not seen before. Constants for the height and width of the window that we'll be creating. Using the standard layers, we already cover standard layers in, in, in a, a, a two, three tutorials ago. Using the, uh, in, make sure that uh, validation layers are enabled. Here, this is a debug function, destroy the debug messenger extension. Uh, make he's here making sure that the Q family indices are the ones that we are looking for. And if you want to know more about that, you can come here to the glfw3 header file, and it also gets more into detail of of uh, of what are the functions being called. So let's continue here. Here. This is the very important here class. The class is called Create Surface Application, and there's running it. And once you run it, it initializes the window. It starts Vulkan, it starts the main loop, and then clean up where all the you gotta destroy the instances destroy the surfaces. You gotta destroy the surface before you destroy the instance. So we keep going down here. This is where the window is created. This is a GLFW window with a pointer to window. Vulcan instance like we've done before. This is the Vulcan Devolk Utilities Messenger extension. The Vulcan Surface uh, Surface Chronos surface. The physical device that we've done in other tutorials, this you know we've done it before. And continue. Now here is where the GLFW gets initialized, as you can see. And then it's GLF initializes GLFW and then the using hints. Uh, that's what I explained to you here. And this is what I was talking about because you gotta let it know uh, where is it uh, there it is it, unless you will be using OpenGL you gotta know that there's no need to create a context that's why you enter this this um, function right there we'll go GLFW no API so let's continue here and uh, here the uh, window with the width, width and height, the 800 by 600, the name, I call it Vulcan YouTube, and two null, null pointers. Now here, Vulcan is initialized. So you, inside of, once Vulcan gets started, it will create an instance, it will set up the debug messenger, it will create the surface, it will pick the physical device, create the logical device like we did, and then it's going to enter into the main loop, and then it's going to clean up. It will destroy the surface, and then destroy the instance layer. Then once those instances and surfaces from Vulkan are destroyed, then you destroy the GLFW. You do that last. So here, Vulcan, create instance. This is everything that we have done before. Uh, this is the Vulcan instance create info, the extensions that we've done a million times, in a, in making sure that the layers are enabled, getting the the instance, make sure it's running. The debug messenger and create the surface. This one right here is where 
the surface, uh, the window surface is created. And as you can see, it says GLFW create window surface. So that's the one that I show you here. And uh, it's this one right here. Okay. So you can follow along. And if there's something that you do not understand, I don't want to type this together because the tutorials will be way, way longer. I rather have it all done and just explain it. And so you can see here is the void physical device that we did. We did those in, in, uh, in past tutorials. This is uh, where it gets uh, the device count and then here it gets enumerated and we did that already and then create the logical device as we did in the last tutorial I believe we did physical device features uh, phys uh, Vulcan device create, create info and here making sure that the device is su suitable the cube families, that's from our last tutorial, and Q family properties, indices from the family, from the Q family indices, and here making sure that there's valid, uh, validation layer support. And here, that was part of the Vulkan API, uh, Vulkan Boolean 32. That's, I, we did that. I show you that, like, uh, I think in our f three or four tutorials ago. If not, it will throw a message. And here, look at how, how nice and, uh, and small and not crowded at all is the main. So it's basically just creating the app with uh, the class instance and then just running the app and with a try and a catch just in case something happens it will throw an error and basically when we run this we will have a window being created it's not going to be our terminal like we've been using but it will be a glfw uh, surface window that we'll be using from now on in the next set of tutorials. So let's let's just close these and look at our make file. And nice and simple, nothing complicated. It's just basically the libraries and we'll be using GLFW, so that's the one right there testing and the name of the file and then I gotta change this I was playing with this earlier so let's run it to uh, window surface class and window surface class and when I run it it sh we should be seeing a window called uh, YouTube Vulcan so let's make nice and clean. He created this guy right here. So now let's just run it. And there it is. It's nice and black. So you can barely see it. But there it is. And that in that window we'll be putting nice and cool stuff in other tutorials that will be coming but uh, this is the end of this tutorial if you like this tutorial please click the like box subscribe to my channel and i will see you next time with another great tutorial take care have a great day